So you thought it was a game? We back, baby. You know what it is. You know where we are. Let's go make it happen. Rocks. Stop in the name of the classics. Got the little stop signs with the Nikes right there. Nike Cortez joints in the silver. These look humongous. What size are these? Size 15 is fuck. I don't even know they made fucking Cortez in the size 15. Check this out. Is it popping right here? You know what I mean? Got the OG right behind me? Yeah, no worries. How you doing? Hold it down. I love me in the streets. Anyways, they come with the extra set of laces, you know what I mean? Silver, suede. Can't be wrong. Oh, shit. Hold on. The fans, you know what I mean? Start carrying a pin and pad now, you know what I mean? Just handing out autographs to the kids, you know? These look like ice cubes. These right here, they remind me of the Air Force ones that came out way, way back in the days when they had the ice cube thing. Obviously, they got the clear bottoms. They look tight. You know what I mean? This will eventually turn yellow and it's gonna look piss yellow and it's gonna suck. But while they're brand new, they look pretty sharp. You know, skate highs. Not bad, not a bad looking shoe. 36 bucks. Can't really beat it at the price. Skate high vans. Vans off the wall. Bro. Ole, 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 ole. Ole, ole. Got the soccer scarves out here. You know what I mean? Check it out. Got the Red Bull, got the Columbia. What do you guys think? Ah, doing it or not? Hirachi 2K4s, in that Olympic colorway. This is like an iconic basketball shoe. You know, forgot when it came out exactly. I was, they're nice just because they're in the Olympic colorway. I remember they were a classic shoe to, to ball in. I think they have the Zoom Air, but uh, they have that Hirachi like sock liner type thing going on. These are kind of nice, they're cool. If you're into basketball or follow, you know, Nike basketball, these are kind of cool. Anyways, Harachis. Ooh. The Netfits. Netfits, 42 bucks. Puma, Netfit. Everyone, everyone has Flyknit, Primate, Netfit. Who knows what the fuck, right? But Puma has the net fit now. These are kind of cool because they have the net and you can lace them as tight as you want or wherever you want because it has like this net, you know, it doesn't really have holes for things. So you can lace them however you want. Um, these have the Ignite sole. The Ignite cushion is, it's not like boost, but it has like the alpha bounce kind of type thing going on to it where like it, it gives you, it's really supportive and it gives you like a bounce. They've been popping up quite a bit. At 42 bucks, I don't think that's a bad deal for them. I think these are, Definitely a consideration if they weren't this color. What? Man, when I say you can find anything at Ross, you really can't find anything at Ross. You know, you go, it's the yoga mat, you know? That's where you go. Exhale, exhale. <sighs> Maybe I should do some yoga. Is there like beginner fat people yoga out there? I'm not sure. But uh, you know I'm showing up styling with my Nike swoosh yoga mat. Like back up, you know what I mean? It was premium right here, you know what I mean? How much does bad boy retail for? $35. $22 here. Eh, eh. I guess. Not too bad. Yoga mat if you're into that stuff. Scarface, I know you in the fitness. You know what I mean? That's you. These look like Transformer, Damian Lillard's. Look at this. <laughs> Autobots. We bots protect the humans. <laughs> Damian Lillard, Portland Trailblazers. Rep hard. Three stripes. Dame certified. These are kind of nice, I guess. Well, actually, I don't, I don't think they're nice. They're pretty ugly, at least in this colorway. I guess if you ball, 
they would be good. They're kind of cool. Not bad. Kind of cool. Walker, walker, walker. These are kind of cool. Puma, uh, what are these? Puma baskets? But they are the Sesame Street collab. We got Elmo there. We got Burp. We got the dude in the trash can. I forgot his damn name. But anyways, they're cool. They're a collab, you know what I mean? Puma Sesame Street. 30 bucks, size 11. You really can't beat it for collabs, you know. If you ever want like collabs, you don't gotta drop a whole lot of money, you know. You got the Sesame Street back here. These are dope, these are cool, you know. You know what I like about these? You could actually like maybe like uh, take some uh, paint, some shoe paint, and like you could paint the faces or like the characters and I think it would probably make it look, it's almost like a blank canvas type thing. These are dope though, what do you guys think? I like these, these are cool. And then the price is right too. Good looking shoe. I'm really big into premium suede like huge and i'm also big into reebok classics you know especially the club c models these are pretty cool and these have really premium so you see that you see that butter right there that's super plush right there these are nice reebok just is that brand that just doesn't get a whole lot of love their classics are really nice especially with the og starcrest and the vector logo this logo right here but that freaking triangle that they have modern right now i hate it but these are nice, these have like the red wine. They got the gum bottoms, the gum bottoms give it a nice shot, you know. These are nice, nice all purpose shoe. These are pretty dope, I wish they were my size. They're size nine, 27 bucks. Not too bad, pretty good. What about classics? Son, Gator boys, you know what it is. Look at these bad boys though, in that money green though. Ugh. Slide through real quick. I think it's 10 and under. Terrible. But another news we did find a red tie boy special. Boom, look at that. Adidas Gazelle, 28 bucks. And that neutral. I don't know if it's gonna be a boy or girl type baby shower colorway with that suede. These are tight, these are dope. Gazelle, one of my favorite silhouettes. Pre-boost hype. Imagine if they put a boost sole on these. Alright, imagine that. Okay, you guys will be all over. All right, obviously the price would increase by like 60 bucks, but I like the classics, all right? Adidas Gazelle, Red Tag Boys. You know what it is. You know your boy's big into the Choney game. Gator Boys on deck. I'm out here buying underwear by the singles because I'm juicy like that, you know? $9.99 for one pair of underwear. Boss shit. What's up? Look at got the little uh, they're there, bro. You know what I'm saying? Fuck with it. What woman could resist alligators on the trunks? None. I haven't found one yet. I haven't found one yet. Hmm. Now, if you guys saw my last video, or the video prior, you guys will know that I am not a fan of sneaker cleaners. All right, but. This ain't too bad. I mean, it comes with a brush. I'd probably buy it just for the brush. But you get the refresher, the sneaker cleaner, and the sneaker shield. And this is so soft. I think they sell the shed finish line. Which ain't bad. Uh, they sell the mint one. It's just rebranded, but it's the same shit. It's like the universal one. This isn't bad. It's not bad. They got them here at Ross for $8.99 instead of $20. Bucks. But you already know what we do. Done, baby. <laughs> Hooking them up, cleaning them up, keeping them clean. What? Sock darts. These are actually kind of cool because they're in the, um, they're in like that olive colorway and like, oh, ugh, what is that? Anyways, um, you know, the sock dart, you know, obviously. Classic silhouette, classic Ross silhouette nowadays. It's fucking practically here all the time. But uh, this is a nice colorway, you know? It's got the desert looking thing, the, the sand. It's got the swoosh right here. I do prefer the Prestos, but these are nice. And uh, yeah, not a bad looking shoe, minus the crap or whatever that is on that. How do you get crap on a shoe indoors? I don't get it. It's 
fucking crazy.